Hello and welcome to Voices from the Loft. My name is Greg. I'm the pastor here at the Loft Wesleyan Church, and um, it's a pleasure to be with you today. Uh, I want to share with you something that God's um, put on my heart um, really just today. Um, but I think it's something that's timely and important for all of us, no matter what's going on in life, where you are, who you are. Uh, it's a constant reminder. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm not going to share any stories or anything like that. I'm just going to jump right into what Jesus says um, in Luke chapter 12. Um, I'm just going to read this, starting in verse 1. Meanwhile, when a crowd of many thousands had gathered so that they were trampling on one another, Jesus began to speak first to his disciples, saying, Be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. There's nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. What you have said in the dark will be heard in the daylight, and what you have whispered in the ear of the inner rooms will be proclaimed from the roofs. I think a lot of times we rest easy on the fact that, um, you know, we can, we can go to people in confidence and share some of our, our, our inner thoughts or, or um, even, even let down our guard and say things that we wouldn't amongst other people. Um, you know, we can, we can feel at ease with certain people. And so, so we... Maybe we say things that, that, that aren't right, or, or, or maybe we say things that we, we mean, and, and it's just we would never say that to a person's face, or we would never say that out in public or whatever it is, but in, in the inner room, in the quiet place, in the dark, we say it or we think it. And Jesus is warning us against this. He's warning us against the yeast of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. And he's saying, look, if, if you whisper this in your heart, if you whisper this in the dark places, in your own thoughts or to other people, it doesn't matter if you say it publicly. It doesn't matter if you put it out there for the world to see. It's not about what gets seen. It's not about, you know, he says it will be seen. It will be proclaimed from the rooftops. And, and maybe, that's, maybe that's true, and, and maybe there's real consequences to that. But I think what Jesus is really trying to get at is our heart. When we say these things, even to ourselves or, or just to one or two certain people that we trust, even if, even if we aren't intending um, to say something mean, or even if we are, it doesn't really matter. What Jesus is saying to us is, look, brother, sister, what's in your heart is what's going to come out of your mouth. And so don't, don't refrain from saying these things. Don't refrain from thinking these things because you might get caught um, or, 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 you know, like he says, it's going to be proclaimed from the rooftops. No, really what's at stake here is why are you saying those things in the first place? What are you doing in, in the secret places? What are you thinking in the secret places? Is that honoring to God? Is it honoring to the person or the people or, or the group or the uh, organization or whatever it is that you're thinking those thoughts about? Is it honoring to yourself? See, Jesus, I mean, you, you read throughout Scripture, he's much more concerned about our hearts than our, our, our visible actions, than the things we do out in, in the public arena. He's much more concerned about our hearts. He's much more concerned about what we do in the secret and in the quiet. And that's the trap that we all fall into. I think I'm safe here. I think I'm safe with this person, or I think I'm safe because I'm, I'm writing it online, or I think I'm safe because I'm just thinking it in my own head. So we let down our guard. And hypocrisy creeps in and evil thoughts creep in. We dishonor people. We dishonor ourselves. We dishonor God. And so I think we all need to be on guard. We all need to be very careful about what we say. And I'm sharing this with you because this applies to me. 
I need to be careful. Um, this is what James says. In chapter 3, he talks about taming the tongue. He talks about how the tongue, it's a small part of the body, but, but it, it boasts great things. It, he, he, he says, consider what great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire. A world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole person. Sets the whole course of his life on fire and it is itself on fire by hell. But this is what he says that really hits home, I think, in chapter 9. He says, with the tongue we praise our Lord and Father and with it we curse men who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. Have you ever drank salt water? Not only does it taste bad, it's going to make you sick. If you drink any, any good amount of it, 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 it'll make you sick. We need fresh water. And when we praise the Lord, that's fresh water, but when we curse men, that's, that's the salt that makes us sick. And so I want to just encourage us, I want to I impress upon um, us as the church. Uh, there, there's an there's old Reliant K song um, about how Christians tend to tear each other down. How Christians tend to rejoice when, when other Christians fall. You know, and, and, and it's, it's, it's such a funny song because they say things like, we're cannibals, we eat the bones and all. We rejoice when our brothers fall. And why do we do that? Why do we allow this yeast of the Pharisees, this hypocrisy, this salt water to creep into our hearts, to creep into our lives? Why do we allow our human flesh-based thoughts to take control of our weakness? Why do we let our guard down? Why do we intentionally set aside what we know to be right for what we, we feel? or what we think is even funny, or whatever it is. So church, I want to challenge us, and I want to challenge myself to tame our tongues and to tame our minds, the things that we say in the secret, the same things that we say in the darkness, the things that we think about other people. And to be careful where we share those thoughts. And to ask, ask God to purge those thoughts from our hearts. And to really examine ourselves and think, why am I, why am I saying this? Why am I thinking this? What, what's motivating this? Is it, is it out of truth? Is it out of respect? Is it out of honoring God and honoring um, another person? Or is it out of selfish motivation? Is it out of this hypocrisy, this yeast of the Pharisees. We need to check ourselves. We need to, to check our own hearts. We need to ask God to forgive us. We need to seek the forgiveness of, of the person or people that we've wronged. Not an easy thing to do. Not, a, not always a fun thing to do. Um, but it's very clear. Jesus warns against it. James warns against it. I'm pretty sure probably all the apostles in all their writings warn against it because it destroys and it corrupts and it takes what could be a good thing and it breaks trust and it breaks communion and it breaks fellowship. And we all know that person or people that we think those thoughts about or say have those conversations on the side about. So let's check ourselves. Let's check our hearts. 
let's ask God to reveal where we need to get it right. So pray with me, Heavenly Father. Help us to help us to, to get it right. Help us to see um, those moments where our weakness, our, our selfishness, our human thoughts take precedence and take control over what we know is from you. In those moments when the flesh wins the war over the spirit. Father God, I ask that you would convict us. I ask that you would bring us um, just a spirit of humility. A spirit of, of learning, of growing, so we can be better, so we can, um, you know, even if, if it never comes out, if it's never brought to light, you know. You know our hearts, you know our our thoughts. Um, so help us to get it right, Father. Help us to see our brothers and sisters the way that you see them. As James says, we praise God with our mouths, but we curse man who's made in your image. So help us to see everyone as made in your image and the valuable person they are. And help us to get it right. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, and have a great week. Voices from the Loft is a ministry of the Loft Wesleyan Church in Hillsboro, New Jersey. For more information about our church, please visit us at our website, www.theloftwc.org.